basically out of time. Last week I told you we have until June 1st before we run out of money. Come on, Congressman. Be honest. You know as well as I do that this debt ceiling fight is probably going to the wire and it's going to cause havoc in the financial markets. Why is that? Because see, Trump has called for a debt default, right? And he has backing in the House extremists. Do you think this is really going to affect the debt ceiling? What this congressman told you at the start of this video is only half correct. He's correct in saying that House Speaker McCarthy cannot control all his Republican Senate congressmen because it took him 15 votes, 15 votes, right, to get in. Like they had to vote for him 15 times. He doesn't even have support of his own party, right? How can he negotiate with Biden and the Democrats to lift or re lift the, the debt ceiling? He doesn't even represent all his members. See, back in January, they just kept on voting over and over again, and they can't elect a House Speaker for the United States. See, because McCarthy lost 19 of his Republican Party members. They all voted against him, right? And you know when's the last time something this historic happened? It was just before the Civil War in the United States. That's how divided this United States Congress is right now, right? You've got the Democrats on one side, Republicans on another side, and then about 19 to 20 Republicans who are diehard Trump followers. See, you can call them the MAGA squad, as the media does, whatever you want to call them. They're basically kind of like acolytes, foot soldiers of Trump, and they'll listen to what Trump says. So Trump, it's only after Trump agreed to the terms of conditions of McCarthy that McCarthy got the deal done, and then he became Speaker of the House. Whatever deal they made, I don't know, but they had to make a deal in order for McCarthy to become Speaker of the House. So if Trump tells his 19 guys, which includes Marjorie Taylor Greene and uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates to vote against whatever resolution on the debt, lifting the debt ceiling him and Biden's negotiating on, it's never going to pass, is it? So be honest, Congressman, you know it's not going to pass unless he says so. But what will make it pass? Well, Trump really just wants the Republicans to let the US default on its debt. That would be catastrophic for the stock market, for bitter coins, for financial system worldwide. And he just wants the US to default on its debt, right? Of course, the Treasury, General Yellen says that's unthinkable. But why does Trump want that? Well, maybe because he thinks people are going after him, right? This chart looks particularly bad, right? This verdict went against. So no wonder Trump actually wants to force the Democrats to cut their spending because that way he forces Democrats to lose a lot of their supporters 